Hey everyone, today is a good day. It's weather, overcast, kind of drizzly. It's perfect, absolutely perfect. I'm back to where Sarah and I met. Now, not our first hello but where we literally fell in love. And I'm, I'm so happy that it's drizzling right now. Like there's just that little bit of mist in the air um, because it makes everything smell like camp. Uh, outdoor school, summer camp, uh, all the smells in nature just, they're just so much better. And uh, so I'm, I'm here, I have a meeting with the director <coughs> uh, to kind of plan out her celebration of life. And I got here really early in hopes that there was nobody here. <laughs> uh, so I could walk around and, and, uh, go through a really big first, kind of alone. Um, then I got down here on the beach and wanted to share because it's, it's a beautiful place and it makes me feel so happy. So, yeah. Um, What's really funny is the beach has changed a lot, but not at the same time. Like this green right here, that was like a small, small amount just right over here on the edge of this hill. So that's like 10 times bigger than it was when we met. So you're able to see the water a lot more. <coughs> same with, same with this shrubbery right here. But I was the one that built the bonfire that we hung out, uh, hung out at that night. And so um, I'll, I'll put a link to the video that Sarah did about how we met. Um, but this stick right here, yeah, that's where our fire was. Okay. So right there. So if you come out, there was a, a rock ring to about out here that I had made. So there was a ring of rocks all the way around it. And right here is where I sat down, put my arm around Sarah and we started talking. Scary stories, brothers, all that stuff. <sighs> Found out how much we had in common and yeah. And so this whole beach area, this whole beach area was where the staff slept close to where the fire was. And then I'm going to turn around and you can see where that tent is up here. It's weird doing this one with a camera. So the kids were lined up right here. Boys over here, girls over there. And then Sarah and I hung out all night and talked right there, right where that heart is. And so we kind of set up our sleeping bags and just kind of sat there, talked all night. And then... <laughs> Getting choked up. I don't want to cry right now. And then at about 12.30, 1 in the morning, up here, <laughs> where the kids were sleeping, we started hearing little cries. <laughs> and so Sarah and I were the closest to where the kids were. So we got up, came up here, <laughs> gathered like three or four kids that were all awake at that point. And they all had to go to the bathroom. So a mix of boys and girls, Sarah and I got them, walked them up this path, and we took them up to where the campfire area is and, and got them all taken care of. And once they were able to use the restroom, wash up and everything, brought them back down, and we, we laid them down right here. Got them back in their sleeping bags with all the other kids. By that time, a number of other kids had also woken up, but they didn't need to use the bathroom. So Sarah and I paced 
right here, back and forth. Turn back and forth, singing camp songs. Uh, many of which we've we've shared on on YouTube and on SoundCloud. So, yeah, this is this is where we met. This is where we fell in love. And here I am, nineteen years later. Holy cow! Oh. This is all good memories. All wonderful. We got to come back here multiple times. We came back here for a family camp. Sarah came back here and worked. Braden came back for summer camp. So we got to drop him off. Um, yeah, and so I want to share one more story because we met here. And it's, it's hard to know the exact spot at this point. I'm pretty sure, yeah. We walked right down here. So I'm going to kind of change it. We walked right down here. And this was in, gosh, was it fall or spring? I feel like it was fall. And I don't think it was quite far, this far down on the beach. No, because we were still up in the sand. Um, so up a little bit, actually, right up here. The shrub wasn't quite as big. I, Sarah and I came back down here just to, to do a visit and walk around prior to her working here again. And I came down, we came down and I put my arms around her and this is where I proposed. Now to make the proposal funny, uh, it was, it was salmon spawning season, salmon run season, and it smelled like fish and death down here. Cause there was so many salmon floating down the river. Just, just, and so they were started up here and just floating down, decaying away. Um, but it made it more memorable. Um, and so we got, we got engaged here and obviously she said yes. Um, otherwise I probably wouldn't be down here right now telling the story. And so, uh, we, uh, hung out, walked around a little bit after we got engaged, went to Fred Meyer and went to one of those little quarter machines that had little, uh, little, um, jewelry, little plastic jewelry. And I actually still have the little ring that we got. And we took that back to her mom. And she was like, I got engaged. And you, there's actually a picture of Sarah showing the ring um, on the slideshow um, that we did uh, after Sarah died. And the, the memorial slideshow. And so that, that was, you know, <laughs> it was awesome. Absolutely beautiful. So... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of the little beach on Sandy River at Camp Collins. It's a, it's a magical place uh, for those two days, but for many, many other memories as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm so grateful, so grateful to have these memories that I can look back on. And super happy that there's barely anybody here right now. So I could just kind of wander down and uh, have these feelings and enjoy them. So I'm going to get off here. I'm going to go sit. Where'd it go? <laughs> there it is. Right there. <laughs> ah! I'm going to go sit at that picnic table for a minute and uh, gather my thoughts. And then go check out the campfire because we spent some, a lot of time there too. A uh, little stage with, with kind of arena style seating and uh, wander around some more and just soak it all in uh, alone. Beautiful. All right, you guys, be kind, make good choices, and I'll see you next time. Bye.